So when you think of electric cars, you instantly think of companies such as Tesla, which is one of the biggest electric car companies in the world. Now that has changed since that whole surge of Tesla sales and so much more. Because now we have companies like Lucid Motors with their famously known Lucid Air, with the Lucid Air Sapphire actually beating both a Tesla Model S Plaid, which is the fastest Tesla you have at the moment on the market, and even beat a Bugatti Chiron, which is insane. And then you have so many other car companies that have a nice range of electric cars, like BMW, Mercedes, Kia, and the list goes on. Now, what happened to Tesla? Well, there are many things that you have to include, such as there's delays with some cars like the Cybertruck and the Roadster, which was announced a while ago and was supposed to come out in 2020. And I mean, right now we're in 2023. So that is kind of scary that those cars haven't come out yet. But what happened? Now, obviously there are a lot of talks about, you know, not the company itself, but obviously on the Elon Musk side, which I'm not going to get into. But there's also the build quality of Teslas. Now, if you know someone that has a Tesla or you've seen a Tesla in person or you know even just rented out a Tesla before, you'll probably know that the build quality is not the best. I mean, there's tons of videos of people that show that the cars aren't built evenly. There are like skewed lines on the car. There's like the paneling is not put on properly. The sealment is not on properly. And that is a big issue. I mean, you are spending quite a lot of money on that vehicle and then you would expect to have a good experience with the build quality. Now, that's why a lot of people are looking at other EVs with like Kia's one on EVs. You have stuff like even the Ford Ranger, or not the Ford Ranger, but just thinking of the Ford F-150 Lightning, which is one of the most well-known pickup trucks for electric cars. I mean, there's even so much more like the Hummer EVs and yeah, there's a big list. So Tesla might be actually going downhill because there is not much updates of the cars, whereas other car companies do change things with the cars over the years, like introducing new things like new safety systems, new, you know, just something new that will bring buyers in. So let me know in the comments below, do you think Tesla has finished the line of being on the top of the cars? Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next video. Be safe. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.